what I tried to do as a storyteller in comics for the many books I participated in uh, was to communicate ideas, not just about getting a chance to illustrate fantasy that I enjoy, but it always is about imparting some evaluation of life in some respect. It's communicating thoughts, communicating with your fellow man, trying to connect. I think the dream of any person going into a craft, into the arts, is to feel supported when you're doing it, and it's been my fortune to have a parent who was working in that field. My mother was uh, drawing a little bit when I was a kid growing up, but before I was born, she was an artist uh, working in uh, advertising and, um, you know, some paid illustration back in the 50s before she started a family. It seemed like I had kind of inherited the, the, the skill or the, the inclination towards art because it was a, a strong drive and passion for me. I wanted nothing more than to draw as a response to all the things I would either watch on TV or the toys I would play with and want to create art based upon these things. I was slowly becoming more of a realist as a kid, finding my particular style, if you can call it such, uh, finding that I wanted to base things upon reality. I wanted things to look real. And that's the way her artwork was bent towards. She came up in the same art school that I would go to and um, her focus was on realistic illustration. But I also was looking for a certain kind of dramatic physical appeal that the world of uh, science fiction, fantasy, and comics seemed to hold. And really that wasn't a separation from realism. It's just I had to find that correl correlation between all those things. And the thing is, those things have always been a part of a whole. You know, it's just a matter of what subject matter you were focusing on. And, uh, of course, my mom would be a very supportive force for that. And when I would see her draw, it made me feel very proud and feeling like, oh, what I'm doing is very normal. Of course, it has a purpose as well as an application to the real world. I can do this as a job. In fact, that's what I had the comfort of feeling like that's my whole life. I'm going to be an artist professionally. Why wouldn't I be? My mom was. Coming right onto the, the scene of trying to get a job in, in the arts out of school, um, I, I wanted to jump in feet first, hoping that I could have a job the second I'm out. Uh, I would eventually get hooked up with uh, the largest ad agency in Chicago. I got uh, I got interviewed there and then got to get a full-time job, an actual nine-to-five traditional job with a cubicle and everything that I would go into to draw every day, draw storyboards, which we would color with markers and draw as realistically as you could. And, you know, using things like photo reference and all that stuff was part of the job. And every bit of this was applicable to what I wanted to do in comics. But it wasn't, you know, for me, it wasn't the end goal. And all the way eventually it led to a connection to a local based comic company and showed my samples there. But the opportunities did come and I was able to throw myself into all of them as best I could. So I did take on this comic book job when I had a nine to five job. I didn't quit the nine to five job. In fact, I kept it for three and a half years after that.